Musk did have an ambitious plan to overhaul the revenue model of Twitter. Now that he has backed off, the social media giant has sued the maverick businessman to enforce the deal, setting the stage for a long-drawn legal battle. of Twitter's revenue that is 85% comes from advertising and the rest comes from providing data access to businesses. Let's talk ads first. Twitter runs three types of ads, promoted ads, follower ads and trend takeovers. Promoted ads are regular tweets that advertisers purchase to get their product reach a larger audience. These pop up on your timeline even when you don't follow the brand and cost between $0.5 to $2 per tweet. Follower ads suggest new Twitter accounts for you to follow based on your interests and cost between $2 to $4 per new follower added to the user's account. You would have seen this trend takeover feature as the top tweets on the trends page. It's prime real estate for Twitter and hard to miss and thus cost up to $200,000 per day. Coming to data licensing, now this generates approximately 15% of Twitter revenues that accounted for $760 million in 2021. Here, Twitter sells data insights both real-time and historically and platform trends and user demographics. These data subscriptions, remember, are primary revenue models for Meta and Pinterest as well and has the potential to increase manifold in the future as data about users and their preferences gains more importance in the consumer-centric world. Now, Twitter sells its public data that it calls Firehouse and that amounts to around 500 million tweets each day to various companies. Companies can utilize this data to analyze consumer trends and generate insights about brands and companies. Since the tweets are public, consumers can also access this data. Because of the volume of the data, companies can learn about their users in a detailed manner, something that a normal user would not be able to. Of course, the data analysis tools have to be sophisticated enough Meanwhile, back in November, Twitter rolled out a subscription service called Twitter Blue that allows you to undo a tweet among other features. Twitter Blue is currently available on iOS, Android and the web in four countries across the globe. The US, Australia, Canada and New Zealand. Here's how a Twitter Blue subscription will cost per month. Twitter Blue is an opt-in service which means the Twitter you know is still free to use. Now, Musk had some incredibly ambitious plans for Twitter and one of them was to reduce its dependence on ads. Shortly after announcing his intention to buy Twitter, he had tweeted about introducing a slight fee for commercial and government users. In fact, the maverick businessman had plans to increase Twitter's annual revenue to a whopping $26 billion by 2028 from $5 billion in 2021. Well, this plan may never see the light of day if Twitter fails to enforce the deal upon him.